So I've been writing code for about 15 years now. And if I were to start my career all over again, here are the things I would do differently. The first thing I would do is I would leave my home country way earlier than I did. Because the country you work within limits the types of problems you get exposed to. In small countries, you will not find big companies that are working on difficult problems, that are solving problems at scale, that are internet scale companies where you can get exposed to the really challenging and difficult problems and you will be limited to building relatively simple web apps or mobile applications that have a small user base where pretty much tooling off the shelf works just fine. This could also mean that your compensation will even be higher than what you could get paid in your home country. The second thing I would change is I would dive deeper into front-end, mobile, and systems programming. You see, for the majority of my career, I've been dealing with back-end types of problems, and I would have loved to spend a little bit more time building mobile applications and doing more front-end work, uh, simply because I believe being a generalist is an asset that pays many dividends and gives me many, many more opportunities than being specialized in very specific and a very niche area. And this is particularly true if you come from a market that is substantially small and the opportunities to specialize are very, very limited. In the same vein, I would focus a little bit more also on systems programming, low level type of programming. I would actually chase opportunities to work on something like that, because I believe the types of problems you solve at that level will make you a better programmer. And the reason for that is you're gonna be dealing with the resource constraints. And when you have resource constraints, you're gonna to have to think much more creatively about the code that you write. The third thing I would change is I would avoid being the smartest person in the room and I would chase to be parts of teams where there are smarter, more capable people working in them. I personally definitely enjoy tackling difficult problems and that is a double-edged sword. Because on the one hand, uh, I enjoy figuring out the solutions myself and sometimes I resist uh, getting coaching or guidance or you know direction from more capable people. And in my opinion, that has slowed down my progression and my ability to grow. Because when you receive guidance and mentorship from, from someone else, this is an acceleration to the learning that you can do by yourself. So if you have people you can learn from them, try to stay as close as possible, not only to suck their energy, but also to add value to them so that it's a two-way street relationship as opposed to you know, one-way mentorship. The last thing I would improve is instead of learning a variation of languages within the same paradigm, I would have diversified the paradigms I learned. Meaning, instead of learning PHP, Python, and Ruby, which are all interpreted languages, they all pretty much flow in the same area, they all solve the same types of problems, it would have been more beneficial for me to learn PHP, for example, along with Go, Haskell, OCaml, and some other weirder variations you can fill in the blanks here. And the very last thing I would have changed is I would have spent more time trying to build the libraries I would have used instead of relying on external dependencies, not for the sake of uh, reinventing the wheel and using them in a production scenario, but for the sake of learning and understanding how these things work under the hood, instead of being simply an implementer and someone who just you know puts the puzzle together and makes things work. These are some of the things that come to my mind right now. They obviously did not block me from doing awesome things. However, I think I would have been further along in my career if I had done these things a bit differently.